Automata had been a very popular part of magical entertainment since the 18th century. Popular because they often appeared to interact with the public. One of the most famous uh, automata or pseudo-automata is the chess playing automaton of Wolfgang von Kempelen. Modelled on a Turkish figure and built in 1770 for an Austrian empress, this life-size automaton travelled through Europe playing chess and defeating commoners and kings alike. After a century-long career, he has recently been restored to full working order. Von Kimplin would, uh, would push out the chess player, the machine itself, and pull out a set of keys. He would then open the left-hand door, exposing all of the machinery, and take a lit candle around to the back and open the door there to show that there's nothing but machinery in there. Now, again, leaving all of the doors flapping in the breeze, he would roll the whole machine around and show that the Turk had uh, a couple of small doors inside his back and in his legs and lifting up his robe, again, just expose the machinery. Then turn it all back around and lock it up and he's ready for the performance. With lifelike movements, unerring judgment, and his expressionless face, the chess player proved to be an intimidating opponent. After alleged victories over Napoleon, Benjamin Franklin, and Catherine the Great of Russia, author Edgar Allan Poe became obsessed with uncovering the secret. Theories ranged from off-stage assistance with remote control devices to electromagnets. But the most popular speculation involved a hidden chess expert, despite the fact that the cabinet appeared only large enough to contain the clockwork mechanism. One of the biggest fictions that has arisen around it was actually perpetrated by no less than Robert Houdin. In his memoirs, he claimed that this automaton was made uh, in order to conceal a legless Polish warrior. This unfortunate man called Wieruski had had his leg shattered with a cannon, and that was the modus operandi. The chess player even exhibited a chess master's temperament, growing impatient if an opponent took too long to make a move. If an opponent dared to make an illegal move, thinking that the automaton wouldn't know, the chess player would take dramatic action. Even today, the idea...